To create Blend Mask in Substance Painter, I will duplicate our both of our meshes. I will select them, hit Shift D, and Escape to put it them in the same places. So I will select on both new objects, this and this, and I will hit M to move them into the new collection. I will call it uh, Substance Painter. Okay. I will hide original assembled fragments collection. And what will I do here? Uh, inside wall 01 in the materials, I will delete all the materials and will leave only N wall fragments. I will do this because if I will leave all these different materials, they will appear in Substance Painter and I will have a lot of trouble working with them. Now I select another material and I will another mesh th this mesh it is mesh with all our doors windows and etc uh, i will go to the faces select everything and i will assign glass material on all the meshes and i will delete all the other materials I will go to the object node and I will remove all the slots. Oops. Yeah. After that I am selecting both this both my objects. Go to file, export, FBX. Uh, I will in the Expert FBX option I use selected objects and I will save it to file Substance Painter Blend 1 and I'll make double click and it, it is exported. Before we open the Substance Painter uh, you need to go to the Substance Painter shelf and uh, take the uh, template file from the folder that I provided. You will have a folder SP tools and folder the templates. You take C Galaxy Blend template and put it in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Painter, Shelf, Templates, this folder. So, when you will open the Substance Painter and hit File, New, uh, you will be able to pick C Galaxy Blend Template. Now I need to select my mesh. I'm selecting this. I will use Document Resolution 128 and I will hit OK. So in Substance Painter we have imported our mesh, we have only two materials as it's supposed to be, so glass and wall fragments. Uh, I will delete this empty layer from wall fragments, I will increase the resolution of this particular mesh to 4K and now I will break mesh maps. Uh, I will use ambient occlusion. Uh, I will change the self occlusion options to always. Uh, I will go to the curvature and change it to 0 0.1. And I will go to the very top and change the resolution of these maps to 4K. Position map in my case is one axis, axis is Y, and normalization type is B box. So, I'm backing all textures for, for wall fragments. After everything is baked, let's check our maps. I will hit the B button and let's take a look at ambient occlusion.
Everything looks fine. Let's check our curvature. It looks nice too. It will create damage in the, on the edges. Also, I want to check my position map. It needs to create uh, dirt in the bottom, from bottom to top. And it looks pretty nice too. Good, after all our maps are baked, we can go to our uh, SP Tools folder and we have a Smart Materials. So I will drag the Smart Materials to my project. I'll select my project, import. And I will drag this Smart Material to the Layer Stack. that I will hit M and here I can see the generated texture that created for me. Uh, it may look not that good uh, here but it will uh, we will see different result in Blender because here it's pretty lightweight preset and it does not uh, take into account uh, height height information of these textures. In Blender we have a more complicated shader and we will be able to see better result there. So I hit Ctrl Shift E, Export, Document, I will turn off the glass, uh, M-Wall Fragments Blend Mask, I don't really like the name because I have already have I may already have the name like this but I don't see the way I can change it from here so let's keep it like keep it in that way go to blender video it's a folder where I store my textures and I will export it here just in this folder export okay I will go to the blender I will hide this mesh and return to my original collection and I will use this option to open the image We'll go here and here is our blend mask I will use it so we can see that we have a lot of procedural damage here as in, in comparison to what we saw in substance painter and I will show you how to make it how to change the settings inside substance painter file uh, this um, preset is created uh, using anchors system so basically this is the lowest layer it has an anchor bricks mask uh, this an anchor goes here this brick mask I will blur it and uh, layer on top of this bricks layer rough cement uh, on top of the rough cement will go even cement it will use previous map and will blur and warp it and on top of it goes the plaster and I've created these black dots to show where we will have some damage so if you want to add ma damage manually you can go to paint uh, use your brush use your preferred brush I need to use black color and I can draw some black spot here for example let's make it more clear I will take my black brush I will paint here 
and you will see like how I created a little damage in that place. I would recommend to use Substance Painter to create basic damage, procedural damage and uh, make final polishing using Blender because here we cannot see the final result and it may be difficult at some point to see how things will work in the end. Uh, I th you, you can increase uh, damage level using uh, this bottom generator. You can hide all these top layers in order to see things more cle clearly. I'm now inside this mask and if I will change the balance to this degree you can see that my edges became uh, way more distinct. I need to check if my curvature has no seams are disabled so I don't have seams on all the edges but uh, pushing this uh, parameter too high uh, may lead to some problems uh, because I'm using war blur uh, in the different maps you can see that we at some point start to have uh, nasty seams between different uh, shells because UV edges are not corresponding in this place and uh, we have a problem and with each new layer the problem will be will become more prominent and it will be harder to hide so substance painter is very good to create very basic uh, kind of damage pattern and after that I would recommend to use Blender and let's take a look, look how it would wo wo work. So I am exporting my wall fragments texture. Okay, and I'm going to Blender. It's, this is my previous result I've tested and it has a lot of noise all around. Uh, I will reload this map everything become a little bit softer and now I can select this map and go to texture pane and here are all my previous settings they are all stored so I can continue to work over my model and add any damage I like using just paintbrush. So you can see I can even create clear bricks. Where I need it, for example here, I can create more damage. It's pretty easy. So basically, uh, Substance Painter gives us base texture, and using Blender tools, we can hide some nasty seams that it created and clean and polish our texture. And this is a very powerful tool, and you can create very good result using it just spend some time and it will work for you for example I can create heavy damage on these stairs but you can see that uh, the stones pattern bricks pattern is in the bad di direction so it's better to show it's very sl slightly I hope it was interesting and you will be able to create proper textures using our pipeline